Hello sewing lovers from all over the world. Welcome to the Fashion Institute of South Florida. I am Ruth Diolio. I am a sewing lover myself. So as part of the class, we teach the student how to do a slack like this one, wind flight and side pocket. So today I decided to show you how to do it. So you can make a slack for you or maybe for a loved one. So let's see. As I promised, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a flight and side pocket on a slab. So here we have um, two fronts of the pants. We have the top of the pocket and the bottom of the pocket too from its side. We also have the facing for the fly and the fly chills, two of them. We also want to be using an all-purpose polyester zipper of seven inches. I choose a contrasting color so you guys can see better when we go into the machine. Next. The, ne the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to um, overlock the cross line on the front of the pants, um, right and left. So here I, I am. You have to pivot the fabric through the curve on the cross. So this way you don't cut. And I'm using the overlock on the right side of the fabric. So I'm going to enter the cross for the um, left side of the pants. Here I am in the curve of the cross. And also I'm going to be using the serger or overlock machine on the facing of the uh, fly. So I fold them, uh, by the way, you already have a fusible interfacing. So I'm going to fold them and I'm going to serge the edge together. And then I'm going to serge the other corner. The next step is to join the cross line of both right and left of the front pants uh, from the inseam all of the way to the notch that you guys see right here, which is indicate the zipper opening. So I'm going to sew a half an inch from the edge and I'm going to be sewing all of the way to the notch that indicate the zipper opening and I'm going to back stitch right here. Now we are ready to sew together at the fly chills. By putting right side with right side, we have here both of them, so we're going to join them on the curvy seam and all of the edge right here. So we're going to be sewing a quarter seam allowance. making sure that the edge is aligned. You wanna slow down in the curvy area right here and let's back a stitch at the end. Once you have the fly shields together, uh, you wanna search the straight line. So I'm here of the overload machine and I just wanna clean the edge. Like this before I place the zipper. Here I'm ready to place the zipper on the facing of the of the fly and I already installed the uh, zipper foot in the machine so I'm just going to be sewing or attaching the zipper with the straight stitch. So let me back the stitch. Let me lay the needle down so I can open and as you see I'm aligning the tape of the zipper with the edge of the facing going to the needle down again so I can close the zipper and continue all the way down but I'm going to back and stitch. The next step is to uh, attach the um, fly shell to the left side of the pants so I'm going to be Replacing the foot again for a regular one. And 
and I have here the left side of the pants where I'm going to be sewing right side with right side and I'm going to be sewing a half an inch. You guys can see the notch right here. So I'm going to sew a half an inch. the way until the zipper opens. And I'm going to back a stitch. As you can see, they're joined together. Then I'm going to do a top stitch, a 1A, making sure that the seam allowance stay on the side of the uh, flight shield. I'm going to do a top ST, a 1A. So the left side is done. So here we are in the ironing board because we already have the right side of the pants front ready with the facing uh, chills or uh, the flight chills already done. And we have this size that where we're going to put the zipper and we, you guys can see the seam allowance right here. And you also see a notch or half an inch right here. So I'm going to show you a little trick. You wanna fold a half an inch but then again, at the zipper opening right here, you wanna fold 3A only. So this way, you're going to hide the stitch of the zipper. You wanna leave 1A out. Again, half an inch at the top, but the, the ending is less. Are you guys going to see where I stitch the zipper down? What is this important? Let's go to the machine. Now we are ready to insert the zipper on the right, the right part of the front of the pants. So we have already the zipper foot back on and we're going to be stitching 1-8. Okay, let me pull the zipper up. Away. Remember here that we press it. At the end, we press it with a little nothing uh, for a K. Okay. You back a stitch, and this is done for now. And here we have the zipper fly for pants or slat. This is how we should look. We are ready now to do the size pocket, which is super, super easy. So uh, here I have the right side of the pants. So I'm going to look for the right side of the pocket. So I'm going to place it right here and this go to the other side and I'm going to take it to the machine. So I can sew here on a 3HC allowance on each side. Let's do it. Here we're going to be sewing uh, the side pocket, following the notches all the way down. When this is done, you're going to do a top stitch on the pocket, not on the pants. And you wanna make sure that the side seam is on the side of the pocket as well. The next step is to do a top stitch on the side of the pocket at one A, all of the way down. Once you have the top stitch, 
Now you're going to attach the other part of the pocket. Now we're going to be attaching the other part of the pocket uh, on the curvy area right here. We're going to be attaching to the curvy area right here and we're going to be doing a quarter seam around, placing right side when right side. So we can make the pocket. And I will see you on the surgery machine because I'm going to serve the edge. And we're almost done. The next step is to actually secure the pocket with the pants. So as you can see here, this is the pocket that we just searched. We want to fall right on the seam and you want to make a match with the notch right here. So you want to do around the waistline a stain stitch right here a quarter i don't have to pack a stitch or anything because this is the waistline and we might be doing a, a waistband facing or if this is a jumper you want to be joining the top part and here on the side seam we had another notch that you're going to match with the uh, pocket opening and you also a quarter you want to do a stain stitch so the side seam becomes just one piece and now I'm going to take this to the table so I can show you the final product. And you guys can see here the final product. I had shown you how to do a, a fly and side pockets so you can make the perfect slab. Thank you so much for watching. And now that you guys learned how to do a slab when fly a pocket, I am looking forward for your pictures that you guys will tag on social media and don't forget to tag us. We might have a surprise for you guys. Happy sewing!